Hello, my name is Pepe Lam and I'm part of the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus technical team. Welcome to a video demonstration of one of the features of IBM Spectrum Protect Plus. This video will focus on the jobs and operations section of the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus user interface. The job and operations section contains information on all jobs in Spectrum Protect Plus. From this section, you can start a job, see all running jobs, and get a history of all jobs. After logging into Spectrum Protect Plus using your user credentials, navigate to the left-hand side menu and you'll see a link for Jobs and Operations. Once you open the Jobs and Operations page, you'll notice a couple of tabs that you can click on for different views of the page. The first tab is the Running Jobs tab. This lists all jobs that are currently running in your Spectrum Protect Plus appliance. This includes backup, restore, inventory, and maintenance jobs. At the top of this section, there's a list of all different job types and a count of how many are currently running. Each job type is a clickable link which allows you to filter the running jobs to that specific job type. There's also a graph that shows CPU usage for your Spectrum Protect Plus appliance. The left hand side contains a quick view list of jobs that are running. You can sort the jobs by start time, type, duration, and job name. You can also change the sort order by clicking the arrow icon next to the sort by dropdown. There's a text box to perform a search using the job name. The icon next to the search text box will display another form to filter the jobs by specific criteria. Each job in the quick view list on the left side is clickable and will display the full job log on the right hand side. The right hand side contains a job log for a single job. This section will provide additional details in that single job. The action drop down will change accordingly to the job type. For example, in this restore job, there are options to clean up, move to production, and clone. The action items will be different for backup, inventory, and maintenance jobs. The job log will provide details on the entire job process. It details the step-by-step -step procedure Spectrum Protect Plus is going through for backup, restore, inventory, and maintenance jobs. By clicking the Concurrent Job button, it will list out all running jobs that are running concurrently. There's also a button to download the job log. This zip file will contain the job log and the Virgo logs that are associated with this job log. This icon will change what is displayed in the job log. The job log is fully customizable. The job log is also dynamic, so it will refresh automatically. At the bottom, You'll, you can also navigate to a specific spot in the job log by using this entry box. The next tab is the job history tab. This tab gives a historical view of all the jobs that have run in Spectrum Protect Plus. The format of this tab is similar to the running jobs tab. The only difference is the options to filter the jobs in this section. At the top, you have the success rate and the different statuses failed, warning, and successful. Each status is clickable so you can filter the quick view list of jobs. There's also a drop down to change the time frame of the job history. The last tab is the policy and job list. This tab lists all the jobs in Spectrum Protect Plus. You can view all the jobs, their history, and the job logs. This section is similar to the running jobs and job history, but without the formatting and filters. This section also allows you to start a job or pause a schedule. This concludes the video demonstration on the jobs and operations section of Spectrum Protect Plus. Thank you for your time.